Welcome to Firefield Vision, powered by NovaCare. At long last, the moment we've all been waiting for, the men in red kick off their 19th year in Major League Soccer this Sunday against New York City Football Club. And it's hard to believe, just the third time in history, they're going to open up on their home pitch at Toyota Park. And what a preseason it was for the men in red. The simple invitational, they claimed that preseason tournament in style, final match, downing the defending champion, Portland Timbers. Everyone's excited about this 19th year for the Chicago Fire, and we caught up with a few of the men in red to talk about that excitement prior to the first match. Brandon, uh, you win a national championship first call up with the U.S. men's national team, now ready for your Major League Soccer debut. Are you going to be uh, nervous Sunday? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, but it'll be good nerves. Um, hopefully I get on the field um, and, and shake them out. So I'll be looking forward to it. You're an experienced guy, but will you still get a little nervous making your uh, your debut at the fire Sunday? Um, obviously, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, I'm actually very excited to be back in the league and I, uh, I just want to, you know, I want to help the team in, in any way possible. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm just anxious. I'm not really nervous. That especially holds true for the likes of Arturo Alvarez. Happy to be back in Major League Soccer. Remember, he spent 10 years in MLS before he went away for a four-year spell abroad. Alvarez brings experience, and the trialist was just recently signed with the club this past Thursday. Finished up the preseason quality, a goal and assist against Portland, and he can't wait to get back to MLS. First of all, I'm very happy to be here. Um, it was a it was a great preseason. It's a it's a good group of guys. Obviously, it's a new team, um, you know, with the coaching staff and and all that front office staff. But uh, I'm I'm really excited for what's coming on uh, for 2016. Arturo is very important for us uh, as an experienced player for this league for 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 all our players too. He was a he was a very good fit for for us as a person and uh, as a, as a player too. He was. Uh, in every game that he played, he gave his best. He understands how we want to play. He understands. He, he just looks like he was f uh, for a long time with us, and we we didn't had any any doubt about him. So Chicago Fire supporters better get used to the Eastern Conference first seven matches against Eastern Conference sides. And this New York City football club, well, they can relate to the men in red, some new personnel and a new head coach and new systems. And the Chicago Fire better be ready. Very, very good team. Fantastic team. Great players. Great coach. Uh, we will prepare. For, for us, it's going to be a final. It's going to be and all our games are going to be uh, like like finals for us. Uh, that's the way how we are going to play and it doesn't matter who is, who is in front. Again, great team, great coach, everything in front of us is going to be um, very respectful and that's what we are going to do, respect, but we want to win all our games. An impressive day of match day coverage Sunday, beginning with the Chicago Fire All Access Show at noon. 12.30, Frankie Klopas, club legend, makes his debut on the pregame show. And, of course, opening kick at 1 o'clock Central. And stick around a little longer. We're going to have a postgame show, too, to hopefully talk about a big three points at home against New York City Football Club.